Yo, what's up? You're finally here. Without you, our ghost hunting squad would be nothing. Hey, I'm a reliable squad member too. Sure, when you're not passed out in fear. <laughs> Out. If you keep teasing me, I, I, I'm not gonna perform my boulder smashing trick for you anymore. <sighs> the official name is the Ten Lords Commission Special Operations Team for the Helio by Containment Breach Incident. That was the name given to us by decree of the Ten Lords. Since we managed to survive the Fixtral Garden incident, the Ten Lords decided to entrust us with hunting down and subduing the Heliobi using our special skills. That's right. This expedition was commissioned by the Ten Lords themselves. I am unsure as to why they attached so much importance to this endeavor, but I have a theory. Wahua is a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, and I'm a Cloud Knight. We must answer the call to the best of our abilities. And this one here is an Outworlder who's done great things for the sake of the Sienjo. But why did Little Quay have to get dragged into this? This mission is too dangerous for a civilian. Ugh, I get it. You don't think I have any special skills, so I'll just get in the way? Every flower and tree on the Xianzhou is significant in its own way. Miss Gui has her own strengths, too. As a famous... Miss Gui has set up a social media account under the guise of investigating paranormal phenomena and unexplained mysteries. We can use it to gather intel for our mission. You hear that, Su Shang? I'm a key member of the squad! They said I could be a Ten Lords Commission intelligence hawk! Uh, I might not be a scholar, but I don't think calling someone a hawk is a compliment. The Ten Lords Commission has specially entrusted Judge Huohua with commanding the ghost hunting squad, so please make sure to follow her lead in all matters related to the Helio Bai. Uh, that's right! I won't let us down! Captain Hohua, should we start the ghost hunt now? Uh, Captain? You can just call me Hohua. Oh, I'm really surprised that Madame Hanya asked me to be the leader of the ghost hunting squad. After Tail disappeared, I thought for sure the commission would ask me to resign. Oh, but for some reason... Mm. Anyway, I'll do my best to carry out my duties. As for our mission, Cirrus was locked up in Fixtral Garden, but there are a lot of other Heliobi that escaped after the Creation Furnace was broken. According to the Ten Lords Commission understanding of Heliobi behavior, they tend to roam densely populated areas in search of hosts. And wherever they go, there are bound to be reports of supernatural phenomena. Little Gui, can you show us the website we'll be using for intel? Look, I'm a new user, so I only have a few followers on this site. But, based on past experience, once you get a following, people start flooding you with stories and news about paranormal activity. We have our work cut out for us, that's for sure. Sometimes, a lead is obviously fake. But other times, it's hard to tell from just a few words on the internet. After all, some people will make up all kinds of nonsense to attract attention. So, we still have to go out and fact-check the leads? Mm hmm? Plus, the spirit bearers from the Ten Lords Commission will be carrying out their own investigation in secret as well. Speaking of attracting attention, how do we get a following on a paranormal activity website? 
Sounds like little Way's department. She used me and some of her performances just to draw a bigger crowd. Ha <laughs> that's the easy part. We just post some videos of us ghost hunting, uh, I mean, subduing Heliobi. We're working for the Ten Lords Commission after all. We're gonna have the best content out there. Wait, aren't we supposed to be operating in secret? Well, another thing we have to think about is that Heliobi feed on the emotions of their hosts. They can even manipulate a host into revealing their deepest secrets. Wouldn't posting a victim's personal information online uh, uh, cause even more harm to the victim? Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to pick holes, just raising some concerns. The way I see it, operating in secret and exposing the paranormal go hand in hand. We won't reveal the names of any victims. We'll just post some pics and videos of the squad engaging in fierce battles with the supernatural. And then come up with some dramatic titles. Like, Little Gray Investigates. Ghost tries to scare young Cloud Knight girl on Creepy Road. Gets owned. You know? We'll turn the entire Heliobi hunting process into regular uploads. Viewers will see that there's nothing scary about it, and there won't be any public panic. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Want a medal or something? It does kind of sound like a good idea. <laughs> Thanks, bestie. Mm, I feel like some of you aren't convinced by the whole online ghost hunting thing. How about this? We take a look at the leads we have so far, and pick one to try out as a test run. Take a look. This post is getting tons of comments. Lady Bailu disappeared? That's nothing new. She sneaks off all the time. That's not the point. Here, read this part. One of the healers from the Alchemy Commission had Lady Bailu cornered. But then she disappeared into thin air. Judging from the comments, there were several witnesses. Sure, Lady Bailu runs away all the time. But disappearing into thin air? Hmm. It looks like the work of a Heliobus. The Heliobi are masters of manipulating the senses. There are stories of Heliobi changing their shape and appearance to disguise themselves as someone else. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Let's get moving and see if we can find some witnesses. Before we head out, let's make sure we have our intel in order. If we can better understand what a Heliobus wants to do, and what it's capable of doing, it'll be easier for us to help the victim. Interviewing witnesses might give us some clues, but they won't know anything about Heliobi. I, uh, I think I have an idea. We have another source of intel we could use. That's right! Those Heliobi were locked up in the same space for ages! They probably got to know their fellow prisoners like the back of their, uh... <laughs> I guess they don't really have hands. <sighs> The thought of seeing Cirrus sends shivers down my spine. But, uh, I bet Cirrus would be eager to see me again. <laughs> They'd devour me whole if they could. I think Tail made a fool of Cirrus, and Cirrus has held a grudge ever since. If we can get them worked up over it, we might be able to use them to our advantage. See, ghastly gravy. Ghastly gravy? What kind of website is that? Ugh, it's ghostly grove. Not ghastly gravy. Ghostly grove is the most renowned website for paranormal enthusiasts in the Lafu. 
Everyone who loves the mysterious and the unexplained knows about it. I used to go there to read first-hand accounts of ghost sightings whenever I needed to build up my courage. We can get our leads from this website and then investigate them posing as paranormal investigators. That means we can operate more efficiently and with a low profile. If people started to see a spirit fair making door-to-door -door visits, they might begin to panic, and that would give the Heliobi even more power over their hosts. Look, I'm a new user, so I only have a few followers on this site. But, based on past experience, once you get a following, people start flooding you with stories and news about paranormal activity. We have our work cut out for us, that's for sure. Sometimes, a lead is obviously fake. But other times, it's hard to tell from just a few words on the internet. After all, some people will make up all kinds of nonsense to attract attention. So, we- hmm? Plus, the spirit fear is from the Ten Lords- Oh, this tedium. Even the insects can't hold my attention any longer. I wonder if these ones will prove to be more entertaining. Cirrus, we've come to ask you a few questions. I hope you'll be cooperative. <laughs> oh, if it isn't the little girl who fainted in Fixtral Garden the moment she encountered the Heliobi. Already talking to me like a detective, are you? Hey! Where's my sword? You just wait! <laughs> there are plenty of beings in this garden that would like to kill me. Hmm. Why don't you line up one by one and take turns trying? <laughs> don't be ridiculous! We can't allow the host to be harmed. Cirrus... You must be unhappy with how things turned out, right? What do you want from me, little fox girl? You want to- I... I don't care about that at all. But I can't help but notice, you managed to escape the furnace, and now you're stuck here, unable to move an inch while the other Heliobi are roaming around the Lafu enjoying themselves. Ooh, must be quite frustrating. <laughs> you want me to assist you and betray my own kind? Huh. I can do that. Under one condition. I wish to arrange a challenge. One akin to the struggle between the great Heliobus Ignamar and the General of the Lafu. As long as you can bring me the current General, anything can be negotiated. <sighs> what? Is that too much to ask? <laughs> it seems the judge here doesn't have what it takes to negotiate with a Heliobus. That's just another way of saying they don't want to cooperate. Huh? Wait, Wawa, you can't seriously be thinking about... Deal! I'll submit a request to the Seat of Divine Foresight! Where there are people, there is noise. What is your purpose for entering the- Oh? What do we have here? A nameless, a cloud knight, a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, and a street performer. <laughs> Quite the group. Wow! The General recognizes me? I didn't realize I was so famous. <laughs> My retainer Yang Ching has mentioned you. You are one of the only people on the Law Fu that was able to 
deprive him of his sword. Oh! Oh, I remember. I should apologize. I did a sword swallowing performance on the spur of the moment, but forgot to return the sword to him when I left the stage. So, what wind has brought you to the seat of divine foresight? General, we know you have important matters to attend to, and the Ten Lords Commission shouldn't be bothering you with something as trivial as the Heliobi. But if we allow those creatures to roam freely, I'm afraid... Hmm. I heard stories of a skirmish between a previous general and a monster of sorts. I'd always assumed they were an old wives' tale. I never imagined the villain of such tales would come to my doorstep seeking revenge. <sighs> I must say, it seems a bit unfair that I should assume the debt for a conflict I had no involvement in. It would appear you are eager to see me assume the debt. <laughs> General Tung Xiao is a venerated predecessor. If I am to honor his legacy, then sitting idly by is not an option. If an audience with the General of the Law Fu is requested, then I will honor such a request. General, Heliobi are vile creatures capable of taking over the bodies of mortals. If you're unsure... I appreciate the Ten Lords Commission having such high regard for my welfare. And it's true I am rather inexperienced when it comes to Heliobi. But as General of the Law Fu, I cannot look on while these fugitive creatures wreak havoc on the populace. <sighs> I still have some paperwork that needs attending to. Once I am finished, I will make my way to Fixtral Garden without delay. Do let me know if you come across any rare swords. I've never seen this one before. Human. Who are you? Heliobus. Is it not your deepest wish to hold a rematch with the General of the Law Fu? I have come to grant you an audience. Sirius, we have brought you the person you wish to see. This is General Jing Yuan, the one who now sits at the seat of Divine Foresight. Oh, this is the current General of the Law Fu? Look at that expression! He's barely half awake! Where is General Tung Xiao? Why did he choose such a lightweight to take over for him? Uh, I suppose it's already too late for the Xian Zhou to rid themselves of this clown. Very well then, General Jing Yuan. How about we settle our score right here in Fixtral Garden? If I win, I must be free to come and go as I please. I agreed to grant you an audience, not meet you in combat. <gasps> what? You refuse! You won't fight me! He comes here after I demand a rematch and won't even fight! Is he conceding that I already won? No, there can be no victory in this doing combat. Human logic negates it. <laughs> you misunderstand. I came for a rematch. It's just that. You are not a worthy opponent. <gasps> what? Unworthy? Tung Xiao, as General of the Law Fu, was Commander-in-Chief of the Cloud Knights. 
Ignamar commanded the Heliobi. The two were as great as the sky and the earth, equally matched like yin and yang. It is only natural that they were worthy opponents. As it stands, I am the general of the Law Fu. But you are no Ignamar, merely a prisoner. If you wish to engage me in battle, you must follow my rules. Defeat my army. Only then will I grant you the fight you seek. Uh, your army? <laughs> That's right. You must defeat my four companions gathered here. Then, you will have proved yourself a worthy opponent. Wait! He means us? <laughs> we'll be okay, right? Why is the General putting his trust in us? I'm too young to die! <laughs> so I only need to beat your pawns here. <laughs> it would serve you well not to underestimate them. They are as skilled in combat as they are tenacious in spirit. I worry they might pose a problem for you. If you win, you can have your rematch. If you lose, you will answer one question of their choice. No lies, no tricks. Can you accept these terms? Mm. It's a deal. The game is set. This platform will be our chessboard, and the fighters will be the pieces! <laughs> You've lost, Cirrus. Ugh, don't get complacent. If I had all of Ignamar's power, I'd never have lost to the likes of you. <laughs> Should you decide to try again, my offer still stands, but you must defeat them. <laughs> what are we waiting for? N not so fast! Before we fight again, you need to answer one question like you promised. Ugh, pesky devil of a girl. All right, what's your question? N look, is this something a Heliobus could have done? Countless Heliobi that escaped from the Creation Furnace. And every one of them could have done such a thing. It could have been vengeance, curiosity, or simply hunger. So how would I know which one abducted your Dragon Lady? Of course, I do have my suspicions. For example... Luxie. Luxie loves mischief. They give no thought to interfering in mortal affairs. Their only concerns are entertainment and freedom. Among all the fragments of Ignamar, <laughs> the one most likely to abduct your precious dragon lady would be Luxie. We were sealed away for a thousand years. It's been ages since we last tasted the joys and sorrows of the world of humans. I'm sure Luxie was eager to find a new friend and wander the world with them. Hmm, I think they're telling the truth. Heliobi do have different personalities, and they can be influenced by the personality of their host. You must visit. Hmm. One. Hmm. Hey! We're not. You bunch of meatbags! One minor victory, and you think you're something special? Come on! Show me what you've got! The clues are all pointing in the same direction, though. It would be wise to strike while the iron is hot. 
Thank you for your help, General. Let's get going. Just a Oh, I haven't been here in a while. It's nice to be back in the old stomping ground. Oh yeah? Since you're so familiar with the place, you can lead the way and conduct the interviews. Did I hear something from the peanut gallery? Look! Those two are wearing alchemy commission uniforms. They're probably looking for the dragon lady. Lady Bailu disappeared into thin air. They must be pretty confused. Remember, we have to keep our identity secret when we interview them. And don't mention anything about the Heliobi. People might start panicking. Don't worry, Judge Hua. Effective communication with the public is one of the basic skills of a Cloud Knight. Hello there. Judging by your clothing, you two must be healers from the Alchemy Commission. My name is Su Shang. I'm a Cloud Knight soldier. Are you looking for the dragon lady who suddenly disappeared? Uh, even the Cloud Knights are getting involved? Did you file a report or something? Report? I haven't said a word to the Realm Keeping Commission, let alone the Cloud Knights. People would think we were crazy if we reported this. There's something fishy going on. Uh, 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 good question. So, actually, we're affiliated with the 10th... Tenth... The 10th tenth Squad! Cloud Knight Security Squad 10, to be precise. <laughs> we patrol the streets and respond to all kinds of unexpected incidents. It's grunt work, essentially. Oh, I can relate. We're no stranger to grunt work ourselves. Anyway, we heard about the Dragon Lady's disappearance, so we hurried over to see if we could help. Oh, we know this Outworlder here. She's from the Astral Express. I've heard the Dragon Lady mention her before. Be normal! Well, it's great that you're all willing to help, but we haven't actually figured out what exactly is going on. Uh, yeah. Just when we had her cornered, the Dragon Lady disappeared with a bang. And while we were chasing her, we saw two of her. It really is a mystery. I'm not even 500 years old yet. My eyes are as sharp as they come. Hmm. Maybe you're overworked. Alchemy Commission healers are saving people 24-7. I'd start seeing things too if I were that busy. As the face of medicinal mastery on the Sienjo, you two need to be living healthier lifestyles. Huh. You really get what we're up against. <sighs> After this is behind us, I say we take a holiday and get rested up. So where did you last see Lady Bailu? On that road there. And I swear I can hear a child giggling whenever I walk by. Must be the wind. Be sure to get some rest. We'll take over from here. Lady Bailu must have seen you and gone off to hide. But with her old friend here, maybe she'll be willing to come back out. Fantastic. Well, we'll leave you to it. Lady Bailu! Lady Bailu, where are you? Lady Bailu, come out and play with us! Uh, why are there two of her? <laughs> They're asking us to play with them! <laughs> Silly head! They're trying to trick you! They're just gonna catch you and take you back! Ooh, I know! Let's play a game called Don't Let Anyone Catch Us! Twin was one thing, but your screaming nearly sent me to the grave. Uh, sorry, but seriously, I knew it was a Heliobus, but seeing double Bailu like that sent shivers down my spine. It's 
It's okay, Miss Sushong. I've worked in the Ten Lords Commission for many years now, but I'm still not used to their tricks. Hmm, they're eluding our senses, but they won't have gone far. Uh, we just need to look around. I can hear laughter, but where's it coming from? Oh, no, I'm starting to get the heebie-jeebies. You can say that again. It seems to be coming from this room. <sighs> I'll open the door and take a look. Uh, huh? It won't open. Strange. Is this also the work of the Heliobus? Hmm. They must know that we're following. And now that we know its hiding spot, it's time to use this. This is the Harmonic Chime. It's an item that the Ten Lords Commission forged to help deal with the Heliobi after the Fixtral Garden incident. Heliobi create illusions to isolate their victims. But if we ring this chime, our thought waves will synchronize with those of the Heliobus. As for how it works, uh, I'm afraid that would take the rest of the day to explain. In other words, we'll be able to enter the Heliobus's illusion? Exactly! Uh, but once we're inside the illusion, we'll still have to figure out a way to catch Luxie. You're the powerhouse of this team. We'll leave the door to you. Come on, you're too modest for your own good. When you're ready, ring the chime. We'll all charge in together. Don't wait too long. They might make a... When you're ready, ring the chime. I never thought this would be behind the door. Remember, it's just a Heliobus illusion. Hey, you over there! Release Lady Bailu! Ah, don't be a bunch of fun suckers! She doesn't want to let anyone take her away. Luxie! They came here looking for me! It's starting to get dark. Hmm, maybe it's time for me to go back now? Ah, Lulu! Didn't we say before that we wouldn't let any grown-ups find us? And never let them take us home! Why? Why did you change your mind? Hmm... You're right. Grown-ups break their promises, but we don't. <laughs> That's right. Remember, if you ever get hungry, I can conjure up anything you like. Berry pheasant skewers, star taro bubble tea, you name it. We have it right here. Okay. Pick some right now. Not yet. Why don't we play a game first? You bad guys over there, okay? You're gonna be in the game too. Lulu, let's make a run for it. If we escape from them, I'll conjure up all of your favorite snacks and drinks! Wow! Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! We're free from the grown-ups! We can play all day, every day! Wait, stop! I just want to play a little longer! What's so bad about that? Why do I have to live the way grown-ups do? Grown-ups are always saying, study now and have fun later. But the grown-ups I see at the Alchemy Commission, 
Never have time. That door over there is the only way out. We'd better close it. This. We need to use our heads. <sighs> Su Sheng's gonna use her head? <laughs> now we're really done for. Then, good for you! But you should probably catch your breath first. They could hear you panting from a mile away. Wait! I have an idea. How about we use a little reverse psychology? Instead of chasing Lady Bailu, we get her to come to us. Are you serious? Does that little dragon girl look like she's gonna come running over to us? Chasing Bailu around like this reminds me of something I saw back home when I was a child. On my home planet, resources were scarce. And if you wanted to eat meat, you had to risk your life by going deep into the mines to hunt an animal called a sky mink. Sky minks fly so nimbly and are so alert that even the quickest of hands will have a hard time catching them. Gather round, children. Ugh, don't interrupt. Hear me out. The sky mink psychology is unique. It lives in symbiosis with a venomous creature called a shrieking lizard. When a sky mink goes out to feed, it lets the lizard protect its young. So we used to go to Sky Mink Nest to catch Shrieking Lizards instead. When a Shrieking Lizard gets caught, it calls to the Sky Mink with a loud shriek to warn it to return to the nest and protect its young. Which, of course, led the Sky Mink right to us. Well, the competition for survival went two ways. Shrieking Lizards spew out a potent venom, and failure to take proper precautions cost many a hunter their life. Nice story, but what's it got to do with chasing Lady Bailu? Ugh, isn't it obvious? If we catch one Bailu, the other will come running to us. I remember one of the judges had a precious item called a Lunambra Gourd, which could absorb and imprison Heliobi. Oh, come to think of it, I think that's the thing I smashed. I wonder if they fixed it. Actually, I have one with me, but it's only effective when the Heliobus is close by. Nice! In that case, you can take the gourd and camp out in a corner. The rest of us will chase Lady Bailu back over here. If we catch Lady Bailu, will Luxie really follow her into our trap? Do Heliobi really have a sense of loyalty to their victims? Who knows? Cirrus said that Luxie is kind of childlike. It's worth a try.
right now. You're being influenced by a Heliobus. <laughs> You're lying! I never had playmates. Today I finally found one, and you guys are trying to take them away! Huh? Grown-ups are so mean! As soon as they see children having fun, they want to ruin it! <sighs> sure enough, they walked right into our trap. <laughs> I was considering letting you join the club and have fun with us. But since you're so determined to spoil everything, I'm afraid we'll have to settle our differences through violence. Yes, violence. The only language you grown-ups know how to speak, right? The one you use when you're telling us off. go back with the grown-ups. They break their promises, but we can't. There's nothing I can do about it. Playtime can't go on forever, but we still had lots of fun. <laughs> Let's play again next time. There won't be a next time. Hua you know what to do. Luxy, how long before the next time we can play together? We both have many years ahead of us, so in that sense, it won't be long at all. But for now, I have to leave with these grown-ups. All right, all right. Lady Bailu, it's getting late. You need to go home now. I... Oh, everything's so... Fuzzy. Uh, did I do something bad? No need to feel bad, Lady Bailu. You were in a dream world. None of it was your fault. But, but I made everyone chase after me for so long. I, I shouldn't have done that. It's only natural to want to escape when strict rules are being forced on you. I know there are a lot of grown-ups trying to control you telling you what you can and can't do. They're the ones to blame. I was ready to apologize to everyone, but now you made me forget what I wanted to say. Apologize for what? You know, you and me have a lot in common. I'm almost a grown-up now, but I still miss my childhood days and running about barefoot. My big brother used to boss me around. He'd give me chores, constantly telling me to grow up, that kind of thing. Then one day, I decided to rebel. I ran away to prove that I could get by without my family, and eventually settled on the Sienjo. Whether it's a dragon lady like you, or an ordinary person like me, I feel like many people's lives follow a similar trajectory. One day, you'll have the strength to leave your current situation, and move on to the next phase. In the meantime, I suggest you try and cherish the good rather than apologize for the bad. <laughs> all right, all right. I don't want everyone to feel too sorry for me. <gasps> hey, did you ever think about joining the Alchemy Commission as a psychotherapist? Jeez, and there I was pouring my heart out. Now I feel like this kid's lived longer than I have. Um, uh, can we not linger around here too long? This place is really spooky. Uh, maybe we can chat somewhere else. Truth be told, Luxy didn't seem as evil as the other Heliobi we've seen. They sure made us run, though. If I ever have to run like that again on the job, I'm filing for workers' comp. 
Heliobite don't really fall under good or evil. They just act according to their desires and emotions. I hope the others will be just as easy to subdue. I should go surrender myself to those two medics. They were looking so hard to find me. Wait! Huh? Uh, what is it? We're going to make a post about this paranormal incident online to attract more followers. It'll help us get more intel. Oh, I get it. We can't just tell the public that the Dragon Lady was possessed by a Heliobus, right? So, uh, we won't mention my name, right? And we'll make up a headline? That's right! We want to report this incident like it's a paranormal phenomenon. The more exaggerated, the better. And then announce that it was solved by our ghost hunting squad. Then we add on a few photos and videos. It'll be sure to get lots of views. Um, that's great and all. But I'm not good at making stuff up on the spot. I heard that you helped Mr. CN write stories before. You must be an expert wordsmith. It's all a team effort. Come on, help me think of something. Sounds good. Let's have a think about it. Say, that's a good title! What does everyone think? Alrighty, you should go back soon, Lady Bailu. Those two medics have had a rough day. Okay, I'm going back now. Thanks for the rescue! <laughs> Case closed. I never knew catching Heliobi would require so much work. We're not done yet. Madame Hanya said that once we've subdued a Heliobus, we should return to Fictional Garden and lock them inside the Evil Binding Matrix's suppression towers. I can finally get some rest. But there are still lots of Heliobi roaming around out there. Oh, we can't rest for too long. I couldn't agree more. I'd rather focus on resting first. I need to wait for my heart rate to recover before I go chasing another Heliobus. Thank you. 